mitigation is on strategic environmental assessment process for sustainable environmental plant biology and biotechnology towards sustainable bio biotechnological development uh, sustainable biotechnological development is a kind of development that meets the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability and efficiency of the future generation to meet their biotechnological requirements so this has basically three pillars environmental stewardship social inclusion and economical growth the objective of the study is pertaining to the investigation to establish strategic environmental assessment process in many of the projects biotechnological projects plans programs policies and legislative actions the environment and sustainability are considered in planning and decision making process that could dominate biotechnological economical and environmental factors in the world's plant bio biology and biotechnological pro projects so the main uh, focus i have taken uh, is uh, the insect resistant bt cotton and uh, the bt cotton varieties uh, prediction assessment of environmental health effects environmental health impact assessment is a systematic identification and evaluation of the potential environmental effects human effects of the proposed uh, uh, biotechnological uh, seed cotton projects for example insect resistant bollworm uh, the seed cotton genetically modified organisms as well as the naturally pigmented color cottons so this have uh, necessary for the conduction of uh, the environmental health impact assessment process that is a systematic identification and evaluation of the potential environmental and human effects of the proposed projects plans programs uh, with respect to the physical environment chemical environment biological environment biochemical environment and the social economical environment of relative total and human environment and environment environment so you can just see that this is the seed cotton so before 2001 the seed cotton uh, was uh, uh, you know based on only the using the fertilizers and uh, pesticides the grown uh, seed cotton and uh, uh, the insects were uh, you know uh, insecticides were used pesticides were used in the field but after 2000 uh, genetically modified uh, seed cotton uh, that is using the bt cotton biotechnological cotton have been uh, you know market in uh, the most of the countries in the world uh, but uh, what uh, my investigation is uh, more than 100 varieties i have taken so sustainable plant breeding technologies uh, have been uh, identified and evaluated uh, with systematic study cotton seed cottons can be made resistant to drastic environmental stress and infections plant breeders across the globe have developed various short staple medium staple long staple and extra long staple hybrid cottons insect resistant bt cotton naturally pigmented color cotton new varieties that is called bacillus thuringiensis uh, jenny seed cotton the, that are called hoppers or cotton plants that is genetically modified to contain the endospore so that produce toxic toxicants toxicants of the bacterium bt and to be resistant to certain insect pest so i would like to highlight this uh, toxicological effects uh, have been taken place in the field not only in the field it carry forward in the textile engineering field spinning field so the toxic uh, characteristics is a hazardous substance you know the toxic is a hazardous substance that endospore toxins bacillus uh, that is called we call it is a bt load so nearly 90% bt load is at the seed cotton because it produces a toxicological effects uh, harmful effects uh, and can be defined as that uh, Uh, because of its quantity and characterization and concentration physical chemical infection characteristics that may cause significantly contribute to an increase in mortality or cause an increase in serious irreversible or incapacitating reversible illness or pose a substantial present or potential hazard to human health and the environment when they are improperly mitigated by means of the environmental health impact assessment process for the bt cotton bt load is nearly 80 to 90 percentage should be reduced to 1 percentage because 1 percentage is a threshold limit 0.1 ppm is the maximum toxicological uh, permissible limits in the field but it goes near 100 to 150 ppm 
uh, which is more than the permissible limits, under thousand times more than the permissible limit. So it is necessary to mitigate the environmental problems uh, by means of this BT cottons presently grown in the world. Before 2001, uh, there was not the big issues, but now this is uh, necessary for us to conduct, uh, to consider the strategic environmental assessment process. <coughs> And this is what how the investigation have been taken place. That is called product and process approach model. And BT crops are transgenic crops that are genetically engineered from the DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, which is a substance carrying genetic information of bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis. BT crops are transgenic crops that produce the same toxin as the bacterium Bacillus and that is uh, the seed cotton plant cells produce crystal insecticidal proteins in the plant cell thereby protecting the crops from pests and the environmental impact of uh, transgenic bt seed cotton in context to plant biology and agricultural science with respect to environmental sustainable air water land due to heliothesis process that is investigated Therefore, case study and check aspects of BT seed cotton are discussed here. The BT seed cotton plants contain one or more foreign genes are obtained from the soil dwelling bacterium called Bacillus and are transgenic seed cotton plants. BT seed cotton has grown exponentially accounting for 90% of the seed cotton growing in our country since its introduction in 2002. BT seed cotton has benefits to the environment from a considerable percentage of reduction of chemical pesticides, insecticides, but a considerable percentage of loss of land, air and water, ecological biodiversity as per the law of land, air, water, interaction, interrelation, ecological theory. So India have, uh, have investigated uh, when I was cotton uh, technological institute in Matunga, Bombay, so Bikaneri Nerma hybrid cotton was investigated. Seed cotton grown in the field at present in our country is BT seed cotton. That is a biotechnology uh, modified, genetically modified organisms which is different totally. It's more than 80 percentage. That is wild ancestors is called a genetically modified organism or genetically modified pest and insect unwanting vegetation resistant seed cotton kapas variety and produces a pesticide and insecticide combating ballworm and uh, so during the production uh, the, the production function is given y is equal to function of x1 x2 x3 to xn where x1 x2 x3 x4 these are the breeding inputs y is the breeding output so by means of this BT uh, toxins genetically modified uh, that have been investigated 200 varieties and inputs such as pest insect uh, resistance, BT toxic proteins and herbicides each harmful to uh, different insects pest and the toxic proteins are produced by the crown plants are warm in ingested and become dead worms that are BT cotton and are bollworm resist seed cottons that have the potential of 90 percentage uh, BT load, toxic load on the environment. So this is a kind of attention for the present investigation uh, towards the sustainable development process which is a kind of development that meets the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability and uh, efficiency of uh, the future generation to meet their own needs and uh, the results also have been extended for the environmental health pollution aspects that are there by using the chrome composite leather clad rollers which are used in cotton ginning industries and uh, it has the environmental problem of chrome adsorption in the lint cotton so biogenetic manipulation of bt seed cotton so two pollutants have synergistic effects the bt seed cotton is genetically engineered with bacillus a yeah, biotoxins that comes from soil bacterium. The BT that was isolated from soil is available to seed cotton as an organic pesticide. The BT genes produce a protein that cuts into the guts of insects and pests and renders the seed cotton resistant bollworm insects. The biotechnology for the control of bollworms that is made available in the seed itself. The resultant seed cotton variety having ability and efficiency to produce BT protein and different 
insects and the pest that also have considerable environmental poisoning toxicological effects of ld lethal dose 50 percent test organisms it is nearly 100 to 150 ppm which is beyond the permissible limit so deoxygenation and reaeration how the, in the field the deoxygenation and reaeration uh, deoxy uh, ribonucleic and re, or, uh, ribonucleic simultaneously taken place so the bottom point uh, it is a very uh, you know uh, anaerobic condition so where the dissolved oxygen is very much minimum so which have the uh, potential toxicological effects so the investigation is pertaining to the psychological health effects on the people in the vicinity so the EHAA, EHAA the project proposal for the genetically modified BT seed cotton to assess the toxicological effects by visual inspection as per environmental psychological health readings on workers and nearby residents nanotoxicology resulted as 1000 millionth standard order to neurosis, neurosis and the psychiatry towards sustainable nanotoxicological development. So the strategic environmental assessment process has been investigated for making much earlier decisions in planning and decision making process than environmental impact assessment process. So environmental impact assessment process which is a need of the BT uh, seed cotton and uh, the genetically modified organic uh, biotechnological uh, aspects. So which is uh, environmental impact assessment is must in this particular uh, plan, project, policies, even the legislative actions. Uh, this is systematic identification and evaluation of the potential environmental health effects of the proposed projects, plans, programs, legislative actions with respect to the physical environment, chemical environment, biochemical environment, then uh, uh, social economical environment, cultural environment of the total human and the environmental uh, environment. So the investigation to identify the study of the environmental problems existing with the present chrome rollers which are employed in cotton roller ginning industries and design the new rubberized eco-friendly roller gins. So this is a process how the, uh, the McCarthy ginning is taken place, holding the fiber and remove the seed from the seed cotton. So materials mammas, earlier walrus, uh, the uh, uh, blubber was used and uh, uh, and uh, in USDA, United States Department of Agriculture, Gillam, who has uh, uh, done uh, extensive work on the properties of gin roller covering materials for cotton roller gins. So this is a cotton roller gin, the gin uh, ro roller is an important element of the cotton roller ginning process to remove the fiber from the seed from the seed cotton, seed separated, lint cotton separated. Lint cotton uh, contains the toxicological load uh, that is the uh, excretion of the bacteria uh, of the Bt load called the, uh, the toxicological load is 90 percentage in this lint cotton and chromium also absorbed in the cotton roller ginning process in our country especially in our uh, cotton ginning industries in our country double roller ginning machines. The chromium absorbed is uh, large effects. So this is a double roller gin, how the ginning is taken place. And uh, the lint cotton, uh, we call it is uh, the, the lint cotton. And uh, this is a seed uh, coming from the machine. And this is, a, uh, you know, the lint cotton is baled uh, about 179 kilo taken to the spinning process, uh, into the spinning industries. Spinning industries, then oil, see, oil uh, sp spilling industries, then uh, spinning industries and the uh, grid is the gin roller uh, investigation device which I have done it in uh, during 2000 before BT cotton was developed I have investigated the chrome composite uh, the materials. Uh, so this is the chrome composite leather clad rollers which are used in cotton ginning, Indian cotton ginning industries which has the environmental problems. So chromium pollution is nearly around uh, 13,000 to 14,000 ppm mg per kg that uh, have contaminated the lint cotton beyond the permissible limit. So nearly around uh, 2,000 ppm uh, this contains uh, the, the lint cotton contains 2,000 ppm. So it means it is uh, beyond the eco-friendly level. So uh, the, the, the level is very high. So that's why we need to uh, pay attention on the environmental health impact assessment. So the, the, the lint cotton uh, get contaminated with the chromium pollution, uh, the two chromium 3 and chromium 6.
which uh, produces cancer effects among the people uh, who use the uh, you know lead cotton and uh, the fabrics and fibers that include the occupational and non occupational exposures in the ginning industries bisonosis and it also uh, one of the incidents for the covid 19 also and this is what how the crow composite leather tan rollers which are used in the cotton ginning industries and how the maintenance practice taken place so this is 180 mm diameter and after one one season three months this is reduced to 110 mm so nearly 60 to 70 microns that get absorbed into the lint cotton and beyond the certain environmental friendly limits so this is the engineering drawing of the cclc roller uh, this is the seed grid showing and uh, the beta going on beating the seed cotton from the seed cotton uh, from the remove the fiber from the seed and the roller wearing investigation have been taken place the roller uh, reduced to about uh, 40 mm ne nearly 50 micron per hour is contaminated into the lead cotton so percentage of the material removed from the roller is 43.8 percentage and the roller wear, uh, wearing data have been investigated chromium toxicity results uh, that is uh, affecting the various organs in our body uh, skin nose lungs uh, kidney liver poisoning and brain uh, disorders uh, then uh, lung effects uh, that lead even uh, the covid 19 uh, the uh, bisonosis disease bisonosis is a cotton disease uh, a chronic uh, lung uh, disabled disease to the workers and acute and uh, chronic toxicity and uh, the, the, the the chromium pollution level is uh, monitored here the single roller ginning machine and uh, how the the rollers are uh, uh, you know due to the dust producing grinding action uh, in the process so this uh, powder how the powder uh, will have the effects in the process and uh, the various uh, uh, roller washers and how the cotton uh, workers uh, exposed with this uh, lint cotton and cotton dust bisonosis in the industries and this is a synergistic poison because of the bitty load the because of the the biotechnological genetically modified organic uh, lint cotton have got nearly around 90 to 100 ppm of the toxic loads so this also is uh, ca called a synergistic poisoning it is augmenting effect i is the augmenting effect took place uh, so just like uh, the photochemical smoke uh, in los angeles take place the same manner it is a photochemical action so lung uh, effects take place in an occupational worker in an indian industry and this is the roller engineering industries the workers the women workers getting exposed with the bt and uh, the atomic absorption spectrophotometer analysis uh, to find out the uh, chromium pollution levels and bt levels so uh, we consider that bt is the organic uh, method but it also also produce the uh, toxicological effects environmental toxicological impacts so that is why i have proposed in this project uh, the strategic environmental assessment process and uh, that too after covid 19 world post covid 19 world uh, it is necessary to uh, com conduct uh, certain projects especially nuclear power projects uh, especially the BT genetically modified biotechnology biology projects uh, this need environmental health impact assessment process which is also uh, systematic identification and evaluation of the potential environmental health effects so that's what we have seen the deoxygenation reaeration study deoxygenation uh, cedar phillips oxygen sac curve uh, which is uh, shown in the earlier uh, presentation and uh, uh, that need uh, the uh, environmental health impact assessment with respect to the physical environment chemical environment biological environment biochemical environment cultural environment and uh, social uh, cultural uh, social economical environment of total human environment so uh, human environment impact is, is equal to pat that is the population multiplied by affluence multiplied by the uh, technology so if it is a sustainable technology then it will lead to the sustainable development so if it is not an unsustainable uh, technologies uh, previous presenter mentioned about the unsustainable uh, word so it also lead the as like 
production function y is equal to function of x1, x2 to x3 to xn where x1, x2 are the input element, y is equal to output element, uh, input, output divided by input is equal to efficiency. So this way the quality focus, uh, the degree of excellence with which the uh, seed cotton uh, to be uh, you know the investigated have to be considered. So, so with this uh, I would like to conclude my presentation. Some of my reference I would like to show these are all the, some of the references I have taken. Uh, some of the uh, uh, taken. Then gastric lung and oral cancer prevention through hazardous uh, environmental impact assessment process which was published uh, uh, in uh, Lab Lambert uh, by myself and the author of the book and uh, the, the, the other, other, other one is uh, concerned the properties of uh, covering materials of rollers used in cotton roller ginning industries, unsafe chromium contamination and pollution from cotton ginning industries and development of eco-friendly alternative. This is also published uh, by Lab Lambert and uh, business and coronavirus disease impact assessment process and strategic environmental assessment process and environmental impact assessment for sustainable development. This book also published by Lab Lambert in Germany and uh, this is another important book, uh, strategic environmental assessment process for sustainable life sciences that is evaluating gin, co cotton gin walrus uh, roller uh, covering materials for cotton double roller gins. Walrus was the first material used in 1940 uh, by the uh, Gillam and engineers. And uh, the walrus uh, was, uh, you know, uh, extinct after considerable years. So UK and USA have investigating the new rollers. So that is uh, uh, the scientific uh, improvement of the properties of gin roller covering materials by Gillam, scientist. He was a very renowned scientist to work, working in a uh, United, United States Department of Agriculture, USA. And uh, some of the publications. Uh, uh, is uh, sustainable agriculture seed cotton development case study and uh, check environmental health impact assessment process for the sustainable agricultural seed cotton crop research environmental and uh, sustainability health impact assessment process of Bt bacterium bacillus thuringiensis seed cotton of genetically modified organism GMO for sustainable development that is a development uh, that meets the needs of the present generation that is 30 years period without compromising the ability and efficiency of the future generation to meet their own needs. So with this uh, I thank organizers uh, Magnus uh, to uh, provide me an opportunity and thank you very much.